tapir. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's a baby tapir. <laughs> I'm in Yasuni National Park, which is one of the most biodiverse places in the world, which means you can see this, 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 and this. There you go. It took some driving and some boating, but finally we got here. So, we've made it to Yasuni National Park. This is a place of legend. Literally, it's one of the most biodiverse places in the entire world. I could not be more excited. Start swinging this net, taking some photos, seeing what we find. So, let's hit the forest. First, you have to swing, swing, and swing again until finally you have something to write home about. And stick on your face, of course. High biodiversity means high number of species that are pink butterflies, blue butterflies, I mean really blue, or even translucent and yellow. There are almost 600 species of birds. One of them even wears a blue hat all day and night. So many frogs, some are orange, others are getting busy, and some as tiny as your finger. There are caiman in the rivers, snakes in the trees, and of course, the mammals sniffing you. But why does it matter how many butterflies you can swing a net at? or frogs you can photograph, or snakes you can have a staring contest with. It matters because what's here today could be gone tomorrow. Now that is the big battle, that this place is incredibly rich in biodiversity, so many different species, but it's also rich in billions of dollars worth of oil, and that is what all of this is all about. I want to keep finding these little guys. This is the face of the largest land mammal in the Amazon. And that's the noise it makes. <laughs> Good morning to you too. 